I've started this new channel on YouTube exclusively to share what I understand and what I'm continually learning about the system for natural vision improvement known as the Bates Method. There are now a lot of systems of natural vision improvement which have sprung up since Dr Bates' time. He was around over a hundred years ago and I think all of the systems you can choose from now probably have elements of what he discovered but I don't think any of them actually really understand the core of his method and for that reason I don't think you can do better than to go straight to the man himself. So what is Bates' method? It can be described in various ways. One of my colleagues from the Bates Association for Vision Education calls it a philosophy of seeing, which gets across the idea that it's really about things going on in your head rather than things going on out there in the world. My teacher had three buzzwords beginning with A, attention, awareness and acceptance. Attention in visual terms is about where you're looking. So when I'm paying attention to the lens of my camera, I'm looking straight at it and the lens appears in the centre of my visual field. When I pay attention to a point on the wall, then the lens comes into my field of awareness. I'm aware the lens is there, but I'm also aware that it's not the centre of my attention. And these two things encapsulate the principle of centre and periphery, which is actually based in the structure of the retina of the eye. And the third principle, acceptance, is about detaching from trying to make your eye do something and going back into your mind and focusing on what impressions you're receiving and accepting them as they are. So if you see something blurred, you accept that it's blurred. In fact, seeing is to do with what's going on in your head. And this is quite an important thing to get across when most people think about seeing as something you do with your eyes. Your eyes do something, sure, but they do it best when you're not trying to control them and when your attention is actually focused on what's going on in your head where the images are formed. And the fact is that the images we form in our heads are not photographic images. They, they never can be like the image you get from a camera in the sense that they'll show every detail um, faithfully as it's presented. Because what happens between the eye and the brain is that the brain picks and chooses and matches what it's getting with images from its memory and tries to make sense of it involving the imagination. So you can look at something and you can get a completely wrong idea of what it is because you're used to seeing something else and you've made an assumption about it which turns out to be wrong. And people tend to say, oh, vision is unreliable. You can get optical illusions and they dismiss them. But in fact optical illusions are probably at the heart of the science of seeing because they show how it works. My favourite view of Bates' method is to see it as a science. It's obviously different from the optical sciences and I think it would benefit from having them take an interest in it and test it out in a detached and scientific manner rather than just slagging it off the way they tend to have done. I think it's more of a psychological science than a mechanical one, which is why the optical sciences have difficulty with it. But I also think it's possible to test it out and I hope in this series to give opportunities for people to try it for themselves and get results.